baskets you are seeing there are balls in this basket how many balls are there in this basket let's count 1 2 3 4 there are four balls in this basket if i put two more balls in this basket then how many balls are there in this basket firstly there are four balls i put two more balls in this basket let's see five six now there are six balls you can see there are six ball in this basket if i take two balls out of the basket then how many balls are left in the basket yes i take two balls out of the basket let's count one two three four four balls are left in this basket dear kids you can see basket has four balls when i put two more balls now there are six balls when i take two balls out of the basket four balls are left in this basket you can see there are four balls when i put two more balls in this basket balls are increased when I take two balls out of the basket. Balls are decreased. These are inverse operations. There are four balls in this basket. I put two more balls in this basket. Then how many balls are there in this basket? Yes, now basket has six balls. First basket had four balls. When I put two more balls, now basket has six balls. You can see balls are increased. There is addition here. There are six balls. When I take two balls out of the basket, then how many balls are left in this basket? Yes. Now, four balls are left in this basket. Balls are decreased. There is subtraction here. Kids, you can see there are six balls. When I take four balls from the basket, then how many balls are left in this basket? Yes, two balls are left in this basket. Now, kids, listen carefully. When we add 4 and 2, we get 6. When we subtract 2 from 6, we get 4. And when we subtract 4 from 6, we get 2. You can see these are inverse operations. Addition and subtractions are opposites of each other. Kids, from the addition facts, we can write subtraction facts because these are inverse operations. See, when we add 4 and 2, we get 6. And when we subtract 2 from 6, we get 4. Addition and subtractions are inverse operations. Now kids, you have to solve these sums from the page number of 51 of your book. Thank you.